Hello everyone, it's me again, GW Fan of Softcore Brony, welcome you back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 3. I almost forgot we actually get a slightly different message over here on this side. Passport is needed to cross, although we can just cross back and forth at will now. We don't actually have to go through the checkpoint itself now, which is nice. So, you know, if you would need to go back and, you know, go to Bunyan or whomever, <laughs> you can. Uh, the hut over there, literally, I think it literally just says, like, it's a hut, <laughs> if you examine. We are gonna go fishing today, but before I forget, because I even forgot to put it on my notes, I want to go over here to Mount Zublo. Yeah, road made by the Porter's Guild. Impassable due to the recent eruption, and yeah, you can literally see that on the world map here. It's gonna be like that for quite some time, too, so... Well, maybe not a ton of time, but for a while. This, we will be coming here because the plot dictates it eventually, but uh, one thing I want you want to do is come over this way to this little path over here on the side because there'll be treasure, which is a protein, a permanent stat boosting item for defense there, so awesome. Yeah, I've rearranged my cheese to actually be above the piranha, because why not? I'm probably going to end up using it at some point, so... Yeah, I definitely want to give that to, to Ryu, because his defenses are kind of lacking right now, because of my uh, somewhat impulsive de uh, decision to apprentice under my guess, making me lose eight defense that I normally would have right now, so he's... Not quite as tanky as I might like, making this particular part of the game slightly harder than I should like. But as long as we're here, might as well talk to these guys. Shrine for some kind of god, eh? And you just found it here? That's interesting. Oh yeah? Why does the Porter's Guild have guys with freaking clubs? Dude! So what is this thing? Is it a shrine? It, uh... Weird shrine. Characters are too difficult for Momo to understand. And then I'll say that for everyone except for Ryu. Which is similar, but... Yeah, you have the strange feeling... You've seen them somewhere before. Hmm. And get Momo back in the lead, because, you know, it's fun to shoot people. <laughs> At least in video games, anyway. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, is any. Alright. No money from you? Fine. And then we got this guy. Who, actually, can we even shoot you? I don't think we can, can we? Ah, uh, yes, yeah, the volcano just erupted, and yeah, the lava's... Yeah, still blocking the road, you see. Hey, I didn't think so. So yeah, if you try, he'll just say, yeah, you can't go this way because, you know, lava. <laughs> so for our safety, we can't go that way right now, which is fine. So back over here, we got fishing spots. Not terribly important ones either, oddly enough, even though there is new stuff. I'm gonna go over to this one over here first. Fishing spa. Yeah, this is the best place to get fresh river fish, even though, yeah, again, I'm pretty sure that's the ocean over this way. <laughs> yeah, something new, flying fish, and something new. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the ocean's over that way, so I, I don't know. I get it. I guess that's supposed to be a river in between the bridge there or something. I don't know. Anywho. Good ready. All right. Yeah, we got, uh, well, not jellyfish, but a new one, which will, well, also go after anything there. Well, he's right there, so come here, dude. Just eat it. Yeah, this is the Man of War, which, well, would actually be... It, it is a more dangerous jellyfish, isn't it? <laughs> in real life, I forget. I know it's not as bad as the box jellyfish in, over in Australia, but... 
I thought these guys were also kind of on the more dangerous side as far as jellyfish go. But, uh, yeah, Man of War, they actually max out at 30 mil, uh, blah, 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 uh, 30 centimeters, sorry, <laughs> and are worth up to 100 points. They are the exactly the same as the regular jellyfish. They only restore 1 HP, so I don't care about these guys. That guy right there, I believe, is the flying fish. And then, yeah, he'll only go for floating baits there. And then, oh, that bigger one right there. Yeah, this guy will go for worm and fish baits. Hey. Awesome. Oh, up, 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 up. Hey, 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 hey. You're not even really struggling, why? What the heck, man? Oh, really? Right when you got close to shore, huh? Now you're gonna put up a struggle. And he's got, uh, you know, a decent amount of stamina. Not a ton. Yeah, this is a rather interesting fish here. Let's see. Hey! He's actually a lot like the Rainbow Trout, because he restores 5 AP. Although I don't... I have so many Rainbow Trout, I don't actually need this guy right now. And it's the Sea Brain, who... Oh, wow. Good size. Gets up to 40 centimeters. And, uh, yeah, maxes out at 250 points. But, yeah, like I said, 5 AP... I technically need uh, a bunch of these guys for a future Manilo shop, but we can also catch Sea Bream at the same fishing spot that said Manilo shop is at, and in much greater numbers because there's only four Sea Bream in this uh, fishing spot here as well. Well, eight flying fish and ten man of war, just so you know. And uh, yeah, I don't really need to catch anything uh, at all here, honestly. <laughs> Otherwise, so. And the Man of Wars, unfortunately, are also in the other fishing spot over here. Although, oddly, in much smaller numbers, only four of them. Up, 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 up. Beach famous for good fishing! Yeah, we got the Man of War. Uh, flying fish again, in which there's only eight. Yeah, you don't really. Or, no, sorry, there's only uh, four of those as well. <laughs> I was looking at the wrong one for a moment there. Then we got something new, an octopus, of which there are four of octopuses here. I do want to catch some of those while I'm here. I mean, they're still useful for getting more skill inks back in the fishing spot near Momo's Tower there. But I'm also going to need more octopuses for a uh, Manilo shop uh, soon. Good ready. Not that I normally would suggest that, just because it's so useful for skill ink, but... Oh, wow. Already? There's big ones right there, huh? Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, we want... Also want worm and fish, so... Uh, oh. Well, he's... Okay, that was a bad... <laughs> I didn't realize he was quite that high up. Yeah, I need to... Uh-oh. I don't need the octopus yet. I want this guy. Yep, yep. Yep, this is another form of bass, the sea bass, which also is exactly the same as the bass in that it only restores 80 HP to one character. I think it even comes in roughly the same size, but I have to actually look that up again. <laughs> These guys max out at 60 centimeters and are worth up to 500 points. I'm gonna need uh, four of these for that future Manilo shop as well. But yeah, like I was saying with the uh, the octopuses there, I wasn't originally going to suggest getting like four of them, but if you want to get the oh, there's another bass right there. Nice. Ooh. That's. Yeah, 10 short of the largest. But yeah, if you want to get... Uh, wow, there's a bunch right there. Huh? Hey, man. Come to me. Thank you. Hey, I said come to me. But yeah, if you want to get the, uh, the level 3 fishing bait, specifically for the float and fish type baits, uh, as, at the earliest possible time, then you are going to want for uh, octopus, because they cost two uh, octopus each. <laughs> There. Wow, you're putting up way more of a struggle than the other guy did. Jeez. Yeah, I originally wasn't going to, you know, again, just because of the... Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, again, just because... 
well, I guess as long as he's right there. <laughs> yeah, because of the skill yeah. inks, but... Just, just come. Okay, don't. Come on, just... Fine. But! What was I saying about the... Yeah, the, uh, I'm actually gonna need the fish bait for one of the harder to catch fish in the very near future. Am I gonna get all these right, right now? Okay, I only need one more. I'm gonna get octopus as well. Uh, at least four, but probably more just because, you know, I want more skill inks as well. But, yeah, wow, I already got three of those. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not too keen. I'm not too keen on you know catching a ton of sea bass there, which there are ten of them in that fishing spot. So yeah, they're the most plentiful thing there, which is nice. So you can actually very easily ignore the man of war. Now the other thing we want to do is we want to. Well, we're not gonna fully check out Rapala just yet. There's one thing I want to do first, but the reason I want to come here to Rapala, which has great music by the way. Hey, cat. I won't shoot you today. Or, well, I will, but not right now. But yeah, the reason I want to is specifically for the weapons and armor shop here. And also this, I might as well do on here. Yeah, there's a Molotov here. There's only one other item here, which is a uh, Panacea, if I remember correctly. But, uh... Oh, I was trying to talk to the cat, but apparently I turned. Yeah, we got weapons here. They've actually got almost all the same things as, uh, or a bunch of the same things as the, uh, contest champions there as far as armors go. So, yeah, if you don't have any of those yet. Oh, yeah, Momo can also equip the scale mail, but it's so much heavier than what she, than the, uh, other one she's got for only two more defense that I definitely don't want to have her with the scale mail. So, yeah, Nina cannot equip this. So, this is like the first of like two pieces of armor that Momo can equip uh, that Nina cannot before we start getting like all stuff that they both can equip. So, yeah. But anyway, yeah, we got Flame Chrisms here for, well, a very particular reason. Moon Sword, if you haven't bought it yet, definitely buy that. The Long Spear, which is for Gar. It's eight points stronger than what he's currently got. I'm not going to be using Gar in the immediate near future, even though you totally could, because the next boss is actually weak to fire, which would, you know, make his Pyrokinesis super useful. And then the dungeon after that, uh, fire is basically the theme of the whole dungeon, so his resistances would be really useful for that. But I'm not going to be using him for those, and we'll be getting a significantly, significantly stronger spear uh, in the very near future after that, so, uh, yeah, I'm not going to bother with that. Quarterstaff for Nina, because, you know, if you really, really want to do physical attacks with her, I guess you can. And then we got the Spike Claws, which is for Peiko, it's the big reason I came here, because it's time to finally level up Peiko with uh, Ryu in the lead. <laughs> no, I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to the cat. Let me talk to the cat, even though he just says meow. So, need any items? Not really, I've got plenty at the moment. Plus, Genmel's a better, you know, thing anyway. And plus, we can also buy Spirit, Baby Frog, Poppers, and Floats for the, I think this is the first time, isn't it? I think it is, so yeah, we can buy those for the first time, which is uh, nice if you need them, I suppose. And yeah, all this other stuff that we could buy for cheaper at Genmail, I think all of it, in fact, <laughs> that's there. You know, well, assuming you got the flyer, which you should have. <laughs> but yes, I want to finally level up Peiko, which uh, I'll partially do on screen, because I want to get into at least level 13 to, well, match Gar, first of all, and, but I might get him up to, uh, like, level 14 or 15 just to match Ryu and also Momo, because I do want to level up Momo one time since she's, I think she's, like, less than 100 points. Yeah, less than 100 points <laughs> to her next level there, so I do want to get her to level 15 as well. I am equipped, as you see here. I kept saying theoretically you can get rid of the bat amulet, but I keep having reasons to want the bat amulet. <laughs> but this, this really should be, like, pretty much the last time. <laughs> Uh, famous last words there, but I got Ryu basically decked out as defensively as I can because again eight points 
less defense than I normally would have right now. He is, especially here, he is really vulnerable right now. And I've also got uh, Peko decked out with a bunch of things. Light Bangle doesn't actually matter. I just have it because they're... I mean, I could give him the Titan Belt, but he's not going to be doing much damage right now at level 1 anyway. So... And I'll be having him fill a different role once he uh, gets to level 7. So... Yeah, we want to fight here in the battlefields, which, uh, by the way, the random, let's see, the random item that can drop, that uh, will, can be here, can be the, uh, in order of most likely to least likely, you know, in that whole thing before, oh, there's one right there, yeah, spirit, popper, vitamin, panacea, ammonia, wisdom seeds, and rarely life shards and magic shards, uh, oh, crud, D no one got a, oh, good, it's not, <laughs> He didn't get, get the drop on us, but yeah, we got, uh, actually three new enemies that are here in this battlefield, two of which are, well, one that's in the next dungeon, one that's in the dungeon after that, and the, la and the last that's in the dungeon after that, so yeah, there's, uh, quite a few monsters here that are actually probably above what we're expected to beat. This is the guy who's two dungeons away. Lizard men are kind of annoying because they have a fair bit of HP at 128 and on their first turn they have a 3 and 4 chance of using the shield spell. So defense up for all monsters which sucks. And on top of that uh, this guy has a really high reprisal rate. He's not that guaranteed to, but he's extremely likely to. He has a really high power rate of like 93, which I think is the highest of any monster we've met so far. Like even as like consider uh, possibly even more so than bosses. How much did Stallion have for power there? I uh, oh 94. So yeah, he's matching Stallion for freaking power for <laughs> physical attacks there, which is insane. Oh my gosh. And then. Uh, yeah, so to prevent that on the first turn, uh, I want to use specifically Intimidate as opposed to Air Raid because, you know, I don't want to get counter attack because he could, like, easily two-shot Momo. So, yeah, I do want to try to Intimidate him. And I also want to try to steal from him. And he has an agility of 13. So, well, either one of these doesn't matter which one, I suppose. Well, actually, I'd have to do both if I want to get above him, so... Yeah, I've got to do it this way. I might even end up staying like this, but... I want to steal from him, because if you do, his attack power drops by 50%. And you have a pretty good chance of stealing just a broadsword from him. And then, Peko, go ahead and monopolize, because this guy is worth the most experience around. 160 points. Oh, good, I stopped him from... <laughs> Potentially using shield. He's not guaranteed to, but yeah, yeah. E. Now, since I have the option of just, you know, healing up whenever I want things to camp, uh, I'm, I, I want to use Quake against this guy, because <laughs> I don't want to get counterattacked, but I want to continue trying to steal from him, and I also want to try to examine from him. I mean, I wasn't planning to do it immediately, but since I have a free turn with Peiko there, uh, he actually, yeah, he has a skill that I can learn, because from the second turn on, he has a 50-50 chance of just either using a physical attack or a magic ability, which is either double blow or a new skill that we can learn, wind strike. So technically he has two skills we can learn, but I already learned double blow a long time ago. This will not even do half his HP, unfortunately. <laughs> He's pretty bulky there. Oh, this is going to hurt. Ow! Yeah, he can, like, face practically two-shot Ryu as well, so... Hmm. Actually, I do want to do Quake again, and, well, I'll try to steal from him again, but... Uh, once he gets down to a quarter of his HP, he has a 3 and 4 chance of casting Rejuvenate on himself, and likewise, if any other monster around him is at critical HP, like, kind of roughly at about a fourth there, uh, he could cast Rejuvenate on them. <laughs> he has a very high chance of doing so, I think also a 3 and 4 chance, so... Yeah, this should put him down to, like, a quarter HP, so now at least he's likely to heal himself, which he does a pretty strong healing there. 
I'm just, yeah, I'm more worried about his overall power there. Yikes. Well, actually, that wouldn't have even been that bad for Peiko. Uh, I would try to learn uh, Wind Strike from him right now. Well, actually, I guess I still could. Yeah, let's go ahead and have Momo heal up Ryu. Let's go ahead and get your... Yeah, your other stuff back. Well, Moonsword doesn't matter, but... Yeah, let's get your better defenses... Your slightly better defenses up. And I might as well try to examine him for now, because since I've uh, at least cut his power down a, a bit there. Nice. Yeah, I might as well try to learn Wind Strike, even though I... I really should try to pe level up Peiko a little bit first <laughs> before I do that. No, I don't need to be rejuvenated. Okay, he is down to that, but now he's back up. So, yes, yeah, 70 HP. Wow. Can't learn this ability, but, yeah, now he's lucky to use, uh... Well, he could use Wind Strike again, or Double Blow, unfortunately. So, let's try to learn that real quick. But, no, he's gonna be kinda mean. But, fortunately, yeah, his power's been reduced big time. Although, Ryu also has that, you know, 25% reduction to uh, defense in the attack formation there. But, even so, yeah, he can't do a whole ton of damage to us now. Which is nice. Go, Peiko! Dude! Are you gonna use any other skills, or are you, like, stuck like that because you're not... because of the hold down to one-fourth? He's probably stuck like that now. So, okay, you know what? Forget it. Let's do that, and I'll jump you. And, well, just in case he actually does do it, and I was just totally wrong there without him getting stuck, because I've never seen him not do it that many turns in a row. I know it's a 50-50 chance, but dude... Oh, low roll. But he, oh, I was gonna say he didn't uh, counterattack, but no, he did counterattack. All right, uh, what should? Well, yeah, he probably still has enough that I can't use a uh, target to guarantee a hit there, and I don't really, I don't need to use Blitz right now. So yeah, go ahead and use Air Raid. Try to guarantee. Oh, he's probably gonna use Rejuvenate. Though. But yeah, I did want to do a stronger hit there, but yeah, I, I'll lure and win strike later. Not that I care, because, well, if I didn't say so before, yeah, wind isn't really that great. There's only eight enemies in the whole game that are weak to it, uh, and none of them are bosses. And we've already met three of the enemies that are weak to uh, wind there. So yeah, the five remaining ones, only one of them I actually care about as far as, like, doing wind damage to, and I'd want to do multi-target wind damage to them. But yeah, Peiko's already at level 5 just from that one guy. <laughs> nice! Look at those HP and defense gains! Heck yeah! Nice, nice. And, well, the AP and power, too. Oh yeah, that's another thing that's great about Fall, is that he doesn't hinder AP. One of the relatively few uh, physically attacking ma uh, boosting masters that doesn't do so... Oh, another spirit? I think that's like my third one now. Or is that my, s oh wait, no, Spirit. I think that's like my second, oh no, it is my third one. Never mind. it was the, uh, the float, the, yeah, the float that I don't have a second one of yet. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'll probably, well, I don't have to sell it. I probably will sell it later though. Uh, well, we're hurting a little bit, so. Dang, Peiko, but yeah, once he hits level 7, he'll actually have higher HP and defense than Ryu, so yeah, just at that level alone, he'll already be a better tank. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he's already higher defense than Momo at level 5. I mean, not that Momo's defense is that impressive or anything, but... Anyway, well, I guess as long as I'm here, I... I can try to get money from trees as well, but yeah, two more new enemies around. We've seen one of them left. Oh my gosh, no one got a... again? Are we gonna get surprised? Oh, that sucks against these guys in particular. Blood bats! They do always run away on the second turn, so I might be able to at least kill one of them because it, they, they, they escape based on their speed stat, which is 
pretty high at 18. Uh, Ryu can't do anything. Momo might be able to, but yeah, they are weak to fire, so I do want to use a Flame Chrism, and I also want to use Target, because they don't have much HP at 35, but Ammo will actually not be able to do quite enough damage for a Target there. But uh, one thing I totally forgot about is these guys, like the Nut Troops, also have a 50% dodge rate, so I'm still not guaranteed to hit them there. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. I kind of didn't think so. Jerks. Oh well. Kind of had the feeling it was going to happen, and I did kind of forget that I, uh, yeah, want Momo to level up there. Let's see. How much? Well, that's all right. Yeah, there's a few old enemies around, too, including the lizards, which, remember, will always hit the character with the lowest HP. That's why I want Momo with the, with the uh, blind protection, because they'll try to use blind on her, specifically. And then we also could meet the bombers, which uh, can actually come up and come in groups of as big as three here. The lizard man also notably can come in groups as big as three as well. So, yeah, that's kind of scary, as well as coming with uh, lizards and, I think, bombers bombers as well. Like, up to three lizards in fact. Ooh. At least we got the initiative, though. <laughs> yeah, normally with these guys, oddly enough, because I ha I, you know, I don't care about using my MP right now, I actually, I'm gonna do it anyway. I want to use sleep on these guys. I could steal from them because uh, I can get vitamins from them, but I'm not too worried about it, so let's see. I have my men sword out, right? And I would monopolize, but I do... Well, actually, they're worth a lot of experience. So you know what? Actually, yeah, let's... Uh, I'll get Momo leveled up after Pecos at level 7. <laughs> which this battle might just do. So, Because these guys are worth a fair bit of experience but on their own. I, let's see. Oh, really? Well, maybe I should have used Double Blow. I kind of forgot about that somehow. Uh, I mean, I could use Blitz, but unfortunately nothing around here is weak to fire or ice outside of the bat, so Blitz isn't that great. Actually, I just realized I could do that with the bats there, but I do want to monopolize with Peiko uh during this most of the time, and we all outside of leveling up Momo. Or, uh, yeah, Momo there, so... Uh, I mean, I could use Air Raid. Why not? So, yeah, let's do a double blow. Why not? And... Well, actually, pick up... Oh, no, no. Well, Pecos not guaranteed that he only has an 90% accuracy, but yeah, as long as I'm, as long as you're a little bit stronger now, you actually have the strength to do a little bit of damage, let's go ahead and use the Titan Bow. Or don't. Oh, good. He didn't uh, actually get affected by that. Good. Ha! Oh, this is... I'm only gonna need one hit. <laughs> and now he's gonna wake up that guy. Great. I could have had an X turn there instead. I knew I shouldn't have attacked with you. <laughs> they are immune to Quake, by the way. Okay, fine. Double blow that guy and you attack him. Watch this work out very poorly. Oh, good. Oh, wow, you can almost one-shot with that? Oh, I guess I could've used the Claymore as well, since I'm slower than these guys anyway. With, the uh, Moon Sword and all. But, oh well. Yeah, I didn't realize- Target's actually a pretty decent skill for Momo, simply because when they're low on HP like this, I can- it's a great finisher move. <laughs> So, yeah, I can kind of guarantee that I hit them, and yeah, even though it's low damage, hey, if they're already at low HP... Oh, did I not do Monopolize? Oh, well. That's fine. Okay. Uh, I'm almost at level 15 now. I, I was totally going to do Monopolize, and I just totally didn't do it. Oh, well. Yeah, I didn't uh, keep that level up with her for, but yeah, one more new enemy around who also had, well, technically two skills, but I already learned target much earlier than I thought I was going to be able to, thanks to the octopuses. Oh, you know, really? Again? Oh my gosh. I have you with the Hawks ring, don't I? But yeah, here's the last new enemy, the 
uh, Tricker here, we can steal gems from these guys, which, well, would be worth some decent money, but... Uh, I don't really want to try to learn skills from him now, though. Because <laughs> he has a skill called Flying Kick. Which works just like charge, except that it uh, takes speed into account instead of defense. But also, just like charge, its accuracy is based on your speed. So it uh, very even on super fast characters, it's not that great. Even on Nina, it's not that great because again, also like charge, it takes into account your basic. Uh, physical uh, attack stat minus whatever weapon you're equipped with. <laughs> so, yeah, your yeah, basic power there. So, uh, yeah, even with her, it's not that great, but... Well, yeah, go ahead and examine, because, yeah, this guy has a very high agility of 25. So, yeah, you do that. Let's actually go ahead and use Blind on you. And you also examine him. Maybe he'll get Flying Kick this turn. Or, well, oh well. But yeah, he's decently powerful. He's only a little weaker than the uh, Lizard Man there. But yeah, now that he's uh, blinded, he is guaranteed... Oh, I also... Oh, right, right. I... Okay, fine, guys. I totally forgot I wanted to monopolize. I can't forget that. It's because I'm talking. Yeah, he's guaranteed to use target now, which, you know, of course, will reduce his damage. But, uh... Yeah, very nice there if you haven't learned target yet. This is the other guy that... Or this would have been the first time I could learn it, but, yeah, you can learn it from the, uh... What is it? The Nut Archers, if you blind them with the octopus, so... <laughs> I don't need to do that. Awesome. Yeah, otherwise, this guy has 100 HP there, and interestingly, he has a... Uh, 1 in 128 chance of dropping the Thieves Knife, which, uh, no one can equip right now. <laughs> so, there's that. But it is kind of interesting that you can get that now. But yeah, sadly, no one can equip it, but it would otherwise be a pretty darn good weapon right now, because, yeah, it uh, grants a critical, uh, it increases your critical hit rate by four and your surprise rate by five, so that's cool for whoever can equip it, but yeah, no one, no one, uh, in, well, in our party or a reserve scan, so yeah, there's that. So, yeah, that's all the, well, that is all the enemies, but there are other ways I want to kind of show off taking care of some of the enemies around here, depending. I guess I do want to kind of show off the blood bats again. Or these guys, because, yeah, I can't, obviously I can't, if I use Intimidate, well, the other two guys are going to potentially use Shield as well. So, rather than that, I'm actually going to go ahead and use Sleep against all these guys, while uh, Ryu once again tries to steal. Uh, Silver Knight, please. I don't need the broadsword, and yes, I... Oh, I guess I could just do that. Except, well, except this is better defense regardless, so yeah, let's not resort to the bandana. Yeah, I'm not gonna get to the next steel level like that, so... And then, yeah, you monopolize, because this will be worth tons of experience. This is not guaranteed to work on all three of them, or any of them for that matter, even though they don't have... I yeah, they don't have any particular resistance to status, but yeah, sleep isn't 100% guaranteed, and wow, I can't believe I didn't get any of them. That sucks. Well, now my physical attacks are really not going to be that wet worthwhile. I'm really going to have to rely on Quake now. Yeah, Ryu can't even really... Oh. You're actually very hurt, too. Oh, wow, all three of you, huh? Well, I forgot to heal you off screen. That Oh, and Momo's only got seven AP left, so... Ooh. That's interesting. Should I? You know what? Let's, let's go ahead and, uh... Since I have this extra and all that... Well, actually, let's put him to sleep again. And, yeah, go ahead and just... Accession. Waste my power there. Why not? Let's go ahead and use the Trigon, because it doesn't care about my physical strength <laughs> if I use Dragon Breath on them, so awesome. And 
Yeah, Momo. Uh, yeah, Watts one of them. Why not? Maybe I'll learn Wind Strike. But super lucky or something. That'd be funny if that was the only guy who didn't fall asleep. And he totally used Wind Strike. And two of them stayed awake. Great. But yeah, let's just use the Trigon, because these guys are weak to lightning, and this is like the only way I can exploit wet lightning. Ha! <laughs> wow! Oh, right, I have a, I still have my reprisal right. Oh, nice! Wow. Well, so much for that. Alright, guys, uh, yeah, both of you, go ahead and watch. Use Thunder Breath, watch this guy, and watch uh, Peiko's experience go nuts. Oh, right, I forgot they're slower than him, but... I forgot his speed gets buffed by, I think, what was it, 20 percentage points? Or 20% there? So, yeah. Oh, well. Still didn't learn Wind Strike, but not that I... Oh, I did learn Wind Strike. Cool, not that I care. If anybody was going to, going to use it, I guess it might be Peiko or Momo or something. This is man, well, okay. Well, you're basically dead now. <laughs> I don't have a reason... Well, I'm glad I learned it. Yeah, I don't have a reason not to use Thunder Breath. <laughs> so, yeah. Bye, guys. Looks cool, too. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, that was a that was a last resort there. I didn't realize that Momo's AP had already gotten that low. And I do want to point out that Lizardmen can come with Lizards and or Bombers again. And in both cases... I do want to use uh, sleep on them the first round. You know, put everything to sleep there, potentially, which didn't work out at all this time, man. But uh, also, uh, since, you know, Momo has Quake, I do want to use that against the Lizard Band, and I also want to use that against the Lizards, because that'll just one-shot them. So, there's that. But yeah, Peiko! Oh yeah! Le oh wow, went all the way to level 8 there. Nice! Nice! Yeah, HP and defense. So now that Peiko's at level 8, I mean, it would have been fine at level 7, but yeah, now that Peiko's at level 8, his defense and HP are, well, already better than Gar's. <laughs> but yeah, they're better than uh, Ryu's there, so yeah. Now I can, yeah, rearrange my equipment a little bit. I still want Momo with the uh, bat amulet there, but yeah, let's, uh, well, no. Er, no, not Momo. I want you. Temporarily, yeah, I want to switch out those. Get the high boots on you. Yeah, to boost your defenses even further. And let's put you in the front. And you will stay there for, like, well, most of the rest of the game there. <laughs> Except for the points where I... Uh, actually have to use Gar, because Gar is forced into the party a fair bit uh, later on, and oh, well, Peiko, interestingly, is never forced into the party at any point except for two instances where you don't even have to use him for battles. Oh, yeah, I guess as long as I'm here, as long as I'm showing me getting into camp, uh, I found another reason to use uh, for the camp option to be here, because if you just use it while you're already in camp, you'll automatically leave no matter where you are. So, that's cool. I didn't even know that until I just I just saw that it was still an option, uh, like, just yesterday. <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. <laughs> Why not? So, yeah, I'm going to continue leveling up Peiko to level 13 there. At least level 13. Well, definitely level 13 just to compare him to Gar, who he's already looking a little better than. <laughs> and especially under Fall. Man. Oh, right. Peiko, you still have Wind Strike. I'll probably just get rid of that, though. I, I have, like, no use for Wind Strike. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, I'll get to level 13 off-screen. Probably do, maybe even do a little bit of fishing there as well. I will be re getting, uh, well, I don't need Frosty. I realize I don't actually need Frost either. So, yeah, let's just get, I'm, yeah, I'm done with Frost there. So, yeah, get rid of Frost for Ryu there. Don't need that. But I do still need, well, actually, I don't need Blind now either, really, realistically, with the, uh, yeah, those guys <laughs> like that. Oh, yeah, I kind of need to get Flying Kick as well. 
I'll show that off if it happens at some point, like whenever I get into a battle with them. So, yeah, I will be getting to level 13. Otherwise, probably do a little bit of fishing off screen and uh, then we can explore Rapala. Ah, uh, yeah, and at level 10, we get Dream Breath, which is, uh, well, exactly the same as Sleep, pretty much. Except, you know, Peko's super slow, so it's not nearly as useful. I think it costs the same amount, too, but anywho. <laughs> Really? <laughs> I didn't fight the blood bats with the trigger at all during that? And yeah, huge HP gain at level 13 there, even without fall. <laughs> but, uh, wow, even a huge intelligence gain. That's intelligence minus three, man. Dude, <laughs> holy cow. Nice, Peko. Well, I I do still, I mean, I do technically want Flying Kick. I can show off the Blood Bats in the next dungeon regardless, but wow. <laughs> really? Well, anyway, I, yeah, you know what? I want to at least try to find the uh, trigger at some point, so let me do that real quick. Uh, before I show off, uh, well, comparison between Peko and Gar, among a few other things. There we go. Jeez, that took a little too long. Holy cow. Yeah, Peko learned Flying Kick. Not, well, he's actually the worst possible character that could use it. But anyway. Yeah, let's go heal up and... Well, do just... Well, one more thing. I wasn't expecting to keep quite as much footage as I did. Honestly, but... Uh, well, there it is. So, anywho... Ready and uh, well, with Peko, well, technically done. I actually decided I want to get him one more level, but uh, yeah, comparing him and Gar, <laughs> yeah, 12 levels under fall, and he looks like this. With uh, well, remember that Gar would have eight more power if I actually had the better uh, weapon for him there as well, so even then, <laughs> yeah, Peko's uh. Peko's looking pretty good there, and yeah, that's without any excess uh, accessories, and also with slightly better equipment on Gar as well. So yeah, their defenses are yeah their uh, powers there, <laughs> stats are looking pretty crazy different there. And even if I like had Peko under under Bunyan for like twelve levels as well, remember that'd be uh, what twenty four less defense and uh, HP. <laughs> And 12 less power, so... Or actually, no, 12 more power, sorry. Heck, even if I had Yggdrasil, that'd still be, what, like 36 less defense and... Actually, I think that'd be 48 less HP. Uh, because, you know, I think, if I recall correctly, I think Yggdrasil is minus 1 HP. But yeah, even then, Peko would still have more HP and defense. And also, I think minus 12 defense as well there. Uh, or actually, no, minus 24, too. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Even then, yeah, he'd still be killing it over Gar there. So, <laughs> anywho, one more thing to do today. Uh, cause I guess I'll save Rapala for next time. <laughs> I thought I'd have a little more time than that. But yeah, I ended up saving a lot more than I thought. <laughs> as far as footage goes. But yeah, now that I've gotten, I think, what was it, 8 levels? Or was it six? I think it was eight levels uh, under uh, fall there. There's some new skills to learn, which, you know, were easy enough to acquire. Yeah, coming back to fall here. Don't get any money from him, but... Well, we want skills. Not that we're really going to use them at all, but... 
Yeah, normally after two levels he would give us charge, but... I already learned that, so yeah, Peko gets counter, which he definitely doesn't need because he already has a perfect counter attack rate, but it's not really that great of a skill regardless for, well, a couple reasons there. I mean, it doesn't cost... Oh, where is it? Yeah, I don't care about Flying Kick either, but yeah, it doesn't cost anything, but uh, yeah, it's, it's only active for the turn that you use it. You have to actually, you know, be attacked for it to be of any use, so, you know, theoretically good for Momo, but you also have to uh, actually use it before any enemy or all enemies attack you, attack as well, because, so, you know, otherwise it's just going to be a waste of a turn there, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, not so, I mean, maybe Momo, if she wasn't so frail, it would be pretty decent, but, yeah, I don't, uh, don't especially care about that, so. And also, she had better accuracy for another thing. Yeah, but the last skill we get from him is Resist, which, you know, I could have learned from Stallion, but, you know, why bother when we can just learn it from Fall? I said that before. But, yeah, this is actually kind of similar to Counter in a certain light, but, uh... Yeah, this makes you completely invulnerable to, well, everything except for, I think, healing in, on the turn that you use it. It's basically the Protect skill from Pokémon, except that it doesn't have priority, and if you don't use it before enemies attack, it uh, won't help you. So, yeah, give it to a fast character who's in the lead. There will be a couple of instant, where, well, at least one instance, maybe two, where I have uh, a frail character in a leading position where they'll be more likely to take damage. Uh, for particular reasons, so... In any case, I'm... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get at least that one level more for Peiko there, even though he hardly needs it, but... <laughs> I figure, yeah, one more level will be fine for Peiko there, and then... Yeah, we'll explore Rapala next time on Let's Play Breath of Fire 3. Arrivederci!